you know what's driving me nuts right now is I'm I've been you know like you look at yourself sometimes when you do this and I'm like something is going on something's going on and I figured out the reason is because I look like Wayne from Wayne's World today. <laughs> Cops world, cops world, party time, it's excellent. Swing. Hey everyone, I'm Haley. And I'm David. And welcome to the soccer show where we are talking all things Super League episode three. I'm going to start us off this week with a little bit of set piece defending. And just, it's something that I feel like across the board needs to get cleaned up and it continues to plague a few teams in particular week after week. Hayley, set, set piece defending to you is what the word offsides is. To me, it, it, it irks you. And let me tell you, whenever I watch these games and I see a set piece and the defending is awful, it warms me up a little bit inside because I, I know that you're getting really mad. We also had a lot of fantastic vision this week. And I've just picked out a few clips here from the first one is uh, Sam Kerr just threading the needle to Frank Kirby. And they've now got a Hollywood nickname, which is Kirby. And and also the this pass from, from owner, uh, I'm not going to say a second name because I've, I've got to learn the pronunciation. I don't want to butcher it. But on a half volley, under pressure, look, look at that, knocks it in. A fantastic pass and it's little details that I noticed that a lot of people don't notice because of my job and I just I love little things like that. Okay Hayley it is time for some key moments from this week and first up is this fantastic banger of a free kick from Siri Worm and let me tell you hey it, so pains, nice. it pains me giving this to Tottenham pains me. I'm sure but, it does, but that is a nice yeah. free kick. It is well struck. I mean, as soon as it leaves her foot, you just know. Not sure what, it wall, the, what the wall was doing, but great free kick. All right, I got to start us off with a keeper. Um, <sighs> Sophie what a, Bagley. What a surprise. I know, we're all shocked. But I will say this about her. To get this, preserve a 1-1 tie here. It was timely as it was stunning. Um, and, and again, even in their earlier game this week, she kept him in it. I think they could have lost a lot worse to Man City without her. I am going to go over to Chelsea now for, again, you know I'm all about the vision this week. And it's another through ball. Look at that ball through those through the defenders, right? Beautiful. And I'm also all about hard as header. Look at this. Bounce has the vision to knock it over the keeper. Just, just to have the awareness of where the keeper is. And, you know, I feel like most players will control that and then try and hit it. But she's so confident in her own ability, knocks it over to keep her. Another win, four straight wins for Brighton. I got to shout them out. Three of those have been clean sheets after conceding quite a few goals earlier in the season. They've been very good. Here, Lisa Weiss draws the penalty. Kagman, who has been absolutely on fire lately, knocks it home. I just got to gotta call them out because they're fun to watch right now. My top moment this week. It's Samantha Mewis, as I call her Smewis, because Christy and Samantha. Um, and Mewis scores again. And to be fair, Sam could have probably had two or three in this game. Um, but again, I just, you know, I love it because it's great for, for younger players to watch a, a, a very modern day DM goal scoring, right? She's up there. She can score with her head. She can score with her feet. She is the reason, is the reason she is number one in the world right now. My final clip from this weekend, a little bit unfortunate to take that final deflection off Millie Turner, honestly, but I will say this, I'm going to give some credit here to Heather O'Reilly because she said it last week in order to win. She said that other players besides Miedema needed to score. I don't know if she necessarily meant Millie Turner scoring, but this was a great forward to roared moment here to make this wow happen. wow how are you gonna go in on our former guests like that that's brutal i mean i've been scored on by my own my own team a time or two and you do you just like all look at each other and you're like man this sucks this I, really I, sucks i'm just gonna go in and say it's a world-class finish I'll, if i was a player I'll be, i'd be proud of it today Haley, we are very very lucky to be joined by the one and only Houston Dash legend hailing from Harrogate, England, Rachel Daly. You're going to say Rachel, hello? welcome you, to the show. You're going to say hello or are you just going to just stare into the <laughs> I camera? Just, I was waiting for the punchline of some 
No. Is, but it was actually really nice. I'm shocked. Yeah, I have to be nice on the show. So what we're going to do is Haley's going to walk you through some clips for West Ham's game this week against Birmingham. Mainly the goals highlights here. Birmingham City goes up 1-0 on a set piece goal. Sorry to make you talk about a goal against first, but that's just how the game went. Ignore the fact that she said, oh, it's just an Americanism. It's fine. That's frustrating for every team. I think it, especially for you as a goalkeeper. Um, obviously, I know West Ham goalkeeping situation has changed over the last couple of weeks. Uh, the starting goalkeeper got injured. Courtney actually is a really, really, really good goalkeeper. The second, the second goalkeeper, the one that came in. Um, so I was happy to see her get some minutes too. Um, but obviously a big blow to lose the starting keeper. But I think, yeah, defending set pieces is is not not an easy way to go down in that kind of a game. Obviously, both teams needing points. The the second clip, the second clip you're gonna love because for once, once on this planet, a goalkeeper actually doesn't get a call if someone breathes near her. And Emily Van Eggman sticks the ball in the back of the net. Go M. Yeah, um, is you know I think she I think she's a top scorer now since I left um, for the West Ham. So one of my good mates. So good to see her get on the score sheet again. Uh, and then actually West Ham West Ham goes up here two to one on an absolute banger of a goal from Svitkova. It's a good goal, you know, catch because she's not left footed, um, playing higher up the field as well. I think she's played done quite a bit at fullback for them. Um, but technically a good player, you know, hit that, hit, she hit that really well across her body on the left foot. So you take that any day. Absolutely. And again, tough goal against late for Birmingham here. Kind of, I think it's 94th minute. Um, and this ends the game 2-2. I think for teams both needing points to get out of the bottom of the table, tough to go down that way. Yeah. I mean, that cross was absolutely world-class. I don't think you get a better delivery than that, to be honest, with the ball moving at that much speed. Um, tough one again to concede especially how late in the game and how much you need points but I mean there's not much you can do about that it's an unbelievable ball and a great finish at the far post Rach before you go um, tell us tell us about the, the little time that Marta turned a uh, corner flag into a javelin <sighs> and tried to stab you in the foot what, what was going on there? Um, well we were winning as you can see on that screen Um so I was trying to shield the ball out, you know, in the corner, not shield it out, shield it away from them in the corner. Um, I ended up getting a corner. I think we might have said a few words to each other and she pulled out the corner. I think somebody pushed me into the corner flag and then I handed it to her to put it back in the ground. But, you know, I think everyone always laughs and, you know, says comments about me and Marta and how we always get into it each game. But I think that just shows how passionate we are. Um, and obviously they've kind of made Orlando Houston a bit of a rivalry battle. Um, and we were just both so passionate, want to win all the time. So I think it always ends up being me and her on the end of random scuffles. Rach, one thing, one thing before you go. I did promise our viewers Gunner this week, but he's he's in my room. Could you just pick up Dexy? Dex, come here. We, we promised dogs. Dogs get views. Facts. So she looks like a chicken nugget with a face. She does. She is a baby nugget. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for showing us. Dexy, thank you for your time as well. You've been fantastic. Thank you. That is it from us today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page. Follow Just Women Sports on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And of course, subscribe to the newsletter. Thank you for tuning in. We will see you next Wednesday.